Hello, Internet. Hello, Internet. I'm Matt Haas. I'm Matt Haas. Matt, 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 Matt Haas. This is Awesome Wood Things. This is Awesome Wood Things. This is my friend Sterling. He stopped by for a tour. Super nice. Very talented. Go check him out. I recently picked up some coasters with this cool Art Deco design, and I put it on a pattern, built a frame, and made artwork out of it. I love it. This is actually an iconic pattern. You might recognize it. I'll talk more about that when I show you how I build this project later. But as you can see, I made two. I don't need two, so I'm giving one away. More details about that later. Here's how I built it. I start out on the router table. I need to remove a small section for the artwork to fit in. I raise the bit a few times and repeat this process. Here's a chamfer bit and I'm adding a nice treatment to the front. I think that'll look nice. This is my picture frame jig and I save that piece and glue it on the opposite side. This ensures every section is an identical length. That's critical when making picture frames. If things aren't the same size, it won't line up. Even if your angle is perfect, they have to also be the same size. If you're new here, say hi Matt in the comments. I'd like to meet you. Here is some white countertop laminate. I had a lot extra from a previous project. And here is very thick acrylic. The backer board also gets cut. And then I take the artwork, line it up in the center of the countertop laminate. And that part is ready clean up the very thick acrylic and then do some test fits. All right, everything seems good. I put some hanging hardware on the back and these stuck through the other side just a bit. I filed them down, probably not necessary, but hey, seemed like a good idea. And then I use this thing. I don't know what this is called, but if you want one, I'll leave an affiliate link in the description. And this has the pattern, all work and no play makes Jack a doll boy. It's very small. I needed a pedestal to pull the artwork away from the acrylic. I could have used any shape, but I like hexagons. No one will see it, but I'll know it's there. So I use some of this E6000 glue, kind of an all-purpose glue, really comes in handy. And get everything centered. Instant artwork. I really like it. Now, of course, this was from the movie The Shining. I'm a big fan of Stanley Kubrick, and I really like that movie. I just couldn't resist it. But you don't need to know it's The Shining to get enjoyment out of this Art Deco piece. Anyone looking at it be like, oh, that's pretty cool. If you want a chance to win this for free, leave a comment that says, I want it. That's all. I'll ship anywhere in the world. Good luck. Please also consider supporting me on Patreon. That helps me make more awesome things. And I have an email newsletter. Check that out also if you'd like. Thanks, Internet.